Hello and welcome to my review of the Divi budgeting system. Hey guys, Abby Johnson here with Matterhorn Business Development. Here at Matterhorn, I am a certified profit first professional, which means that I am working with our clients on their finances all the time. And I found this tool called Divi and I just, I'm really loving it and I wanted to tell you more about it because honestly, I didn't really find many other videos about this app and it's brilliant and I love it. So let's get straight into it. This is not a sponsored video, I'm not that cool, but I am a Divi partner now, which means there is a referral link down below if you wanna use that, but you don't have to use that link if you don't want to. So what is Divi? Divi is a couple, several things actually. It's a budgeting system, expense management system, and a charge card all in one. Now this is particularly an awesome system if you have employees under you. Here at Matterhorn, we're kind of a small outfit. There's only three of us right now, but I still use Divi to manage our expenses and so that I know how to use it and talk to my clients about it and maybe give them some advice on it. So first of all, with Divi, it works like a charge card. So you're gonna apply and you're gonna get a credit line with them, um, you know, depending on your credit and what you ask for. It's just like applying for a credit card or something like that. The difference is with a charge card is you're gonna have to pay it off in full um, over whatever period of time you pick. So you can pay it off monthly, twice a month or weekly. I like doing it weekly and I advise weekly because that way your bank accounts and your expenses won't get out of control. It's really easy to build up like a debt on a card and then turn around and be like, oh crap, I don't actually have the money in the bank account to do that. So we use the Profit First system here, which I will leave links around if you don't know what that is. Um, but it focuses on managing your operating expenses. So I'm not gonna advise anything that would let your expenses go out of control because then I would not be doing my job. Um, so that's why I like paying it off weekly. You also get reward points and you get more points if you're uh, paying it off weekly as opposed to monthly or something. So that's pretty cool. The great thing about Divi is it's gonna have all these extra features I'm about to talk about, but they're all free. Divi makes their money on the interchange fees from the cards that you use. Um, so all of this is no cost to you. So the next great component of Divi, like the big part of it that I haven't found a system that does this, is you can set budgets and then give cards to your employees and assign them budgets. So let's say you have a director of marketing and you wanna give him a $5,000 budget for the month. You just divvy that money over to him, you assign it to him. And then even if he has employees under him, he can manage their budgets within that budget. Um, you know, he, that way he can be watching his spending and. Uh, what's great is he can also request more money if he needs it, he can attach receipts. There's no more expense reports, uh, which in my past experience was always a pain, having to cut a bunch of reimbursement checks or go through every week and approve all of these expenses. Divi really speeds up all of that and cuts out that time as a CFO or business owner or finance manager, whatever your role is. So I really love that time saving factor and it just makes your budgeting so much clearer. You don't need as many like crazy spreadsheets to figure out where money is going or where it's been set aside. Um, so that's a really great feature. So another thing that Divi has, it's called virtual cards. And basically they are credit card numbers that are used for online purchases. So you don't have to just use the same card. And what's great about this is sometimes when you're making purchases on the internet, you're at a higher risk of that credit card number being compromised. So first of all, if that card is compromised, you don't know where it was compromised from. And then you get a new card and you have to go change it to a bunch of websites, which is really frustrating. 
I also like this for if you have an employee who's making maybe like Amazon purchases, then they can just save this card as their Amazon card, you know, on their account. And then you can just raise and lower how much they can spend on that card. So maybe if that month they don't have permission to spend on Amazon, that card has a zero allowance on it. But if they put in a request for a $100 purchase from Amazon, you can easily just with a click of a button, give them permission to spend that $100 only on Amazon. So it really controls the spending. It really, again, saves time if anything goes wrong. And it's just another example of how Divi brings about efficiency in, on the finance part of the business. All right, next, I wanna talk about the customer service of Divi because it's honestly just fantastic. I was assigned a specific account manager who I can work with directly. When you start, you get someone who helps onboard you and train you how to use the system. I've had just a couple issues or questions that I had and I just typed them into the chat box. And one time I literally got an immediate response and it was resolved within two minutes. So they're very on top of their customer service, which especially with all the chat boxes that are being used today for customer service, it can get really frustrating going back and forth with someone trying to resolve an issue. But so far I've found that all of my issues have been resolved really quickly and efficiently and really friendly too. Um, I really hate when I go to customer support somewhere and I just get the vibe that I'm annoying this person by asking them to do their job and help me. <laughs> so with Divi, it's really great because it sounds like they really care and yeah, fast, efficient, friendly, what more could you want in customer service? Okay, so lastly, I just wanna talk about kind of the extra features and how Divi is constantly adding new features. They're ever evolving, getting better, and adding new functionality. So I think within the last year or so, I don't know for sure because I haven't been with them that long, they did add bill pay, which is really cool. It's a free feature again, and it's just great that it's already in Divi. You don't need to go to another system to pay your bills. You literally can manage all of your expenses through Divi. So it's really nice to have that feature all in one platform. Uh, they also recently added a reimbursement function. So maybe someone had to pay cash for something or it was an emergency or who knows, situations come up. So there is a reimbursement function now where they can from their Divi app, because everyone gets an app, all the employees get an app. Uh, from their Divi app, they can just you know request a reimbursement, what it was for, and uh, it makes it, again, all in one platform rather than having to sort through a different pile of reimbursement requests. Right now, I think you still have to cut a separate check outside of the Divi system, but I think they are working on something so that you can even pay it through Divi as well. I'm not sure exactly yet. Divi also does sync with QuickBooks, which makes it really easy. I just every week sync my transactions to my QuickBooks and record the payment since I'm paying it weekly. Uh, I do believe they're also working on a sync feature with NetSuite, which is another, it's an ERP, which has an accounting function. So bigger companies sometimes use NetSuite instead of QuickBooks. So they also have Divi Travel where your employees can book their travel through this app and you get discounts and employees actually get rewarded for buying a cheaper flight. I haven't used this feature myself, but it sounds pretty cool. I haven't needed it yet. But again, it's just shows that Divi is really thinking and really customer oriented of how they can serve their customer base and make things better and easier for you. Um, it's also great because I don't think I really talked about this yet about just how much the employees can have in their app and how they have to categorize each expense themselves and they can attach a receipt right in their app. Um, so instead of having to put together some a uh, big expense report with like receipts taped to pieces of paper and it gets messy and maybe they lose a receipt. It's all there, it's easy for the employee, but then 
on the finance office end, whoever's running that, it's so easy because it just syncs to your accounting system or maybe you have to do an export and import if you're not using QuickBooks or NetSuite or something. So I give Divi a 10 out of 10. I totally highly recommend this. Um, it's literally one of my favorite apps. I think this is so innovative and so needed in the business community. So um, let me know what your thoughts are. If you have any questions on Divi, let me know. Go check it out. And uh, let me know if there are any other business apps or softwares you want me to talk about. I have a video I did of my six favorite apps I can link up here. Um, but that's kind of what I do here at Matterhorn. I help our clients kind of on all the back end administrative organizational stuff. So if you have anything you want me to talk about, let me know. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our other videos. And I'll see you next time.